Why does it seem like so many Asians from around the world like to dye their hair blonde? Is it to be more white or is it for other reasons? And how come more Indians don't do it? This is a very strange phenomenon because when you are born as a baby, your hair is jet black and then you want to be cool. Then you go blonde. Why is that? We got to talk about this post. It says, why do East Asians dye their hair similarly to European shades while other black haired ethnicities do not? Of other, you know, darker, darker shade ethnicities, they named South Asians, Arabs, uh, some Latin Americans, some Southern Europeans. And he was just saying, do East Asians do it so much because we reject our beautiful black hair? Mm. I don't know if it's just the money in the fashion industry or is it remnants of a white worshiping culture? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe the answer is complicated. We're going to delve in into it please hit that like button check out other episodes of the hot pop boys but one thing that is not bleached or dyed is smala sauce check it out shipping out right now also in some local stores in new york it's true we could have clarified it to to you know maybe prevent some people who are scared of red oil away to fit in more with the vinegar i'm pretty sure bleached oil that idea sounds really really bad for you but anyways david getting back to the hair initially it does seem like and of the Indian people that we knew growing up and the Indian people that we know now, South Asian people, let's say, we don't know that many bleached hair people. Right. I just had to think of it in my head and that's why I thought this was a red, interesting Reddit post because I realized I do not think I've personally ever met an Indian girl, you know, from a daisy country with dyed blonde hair. Right. I right. actually had to Google it. But we know to a lot. Like, but we I'm know saying- tons of Asians of all different types of Asians, usually the jet black hair Asians, to that that have bleached or dyed their hair in some way, whether it's streaks. I don't know if streaks counts in this sense, but essentially has gone full blonde. Right, right, right. I mean, I had to look it up. I guess Kim Kardashian did have blonde hair for a little bit, so I don't know if she counts as Arab. Probably not. I mean, I think some people consider her Yeah, half, I mean, half. some people were pointing out Nicki Minaj and how they they have, like, the blonde hair But those uh, are weeds, though. Or yeah. Those are- yeah, 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 it's probably not their real hair, right? But, but- I guess, um, what are the main reasons why? Well, I do think immediately uh, there's probably multiple reasons, right? I think there, there there are cultural differences. I think there are primarily, this is the big one that, you know, it's difficult to talk about unless you really understand. I think there's a lot of religious mm. or ethno-religious identity reasons why right, right. Uh, other groups would not, maybe if they're belonging to uh, uh, a very, they have a very strong religious conviction not to. Right, I would, you know, maybe assume that more like, in the uh, in the Muslim world, maybe there's less hair bleaching too. Right. Possibly. I'm not saying that it is a religious thing. But you're just saying that maybe somewhere when you, you are very devoted to a religion or something, it makes you want to deviate less from that traditional look. Possibly. Right. Or you just have for certain, the, just the community is more traditional. Right, right, like right. That. Okay. When it comes I, to visual things. I right. don't know. That's my thinking. Um, also, I do think that when you are in Asia, there are other motivations in the sense that, have you ever seen a photo from an Asian classroom? Dude, if you take a photo of Shibuya Crossing, that is like a lot of black heads. They look the same from afar. Right. So I think that subconsciously, you know, whether you're in Asia or specifically if you're in Asian America, there may be some desire to stand out from the crowd, right? Right. Because everybody has jet black hair and more. It depends on what type of Asian you are, but paler skin. It could look really homogenous, I guess, from a bird's eye. And you're saying to stand out may mean to deviate from the traditional, typical Asian look, which could be any other look, but oftentimes it is blonde. Right. So I don't know if it's because maybe I don't know. Do do I would imagine that Asians maybe on a percentage basis have more uniform hair color than yeah. than other countries where their hair color there may be a variance. Right. Right. Uh, you know what? Of of like Irish people, there is actually some dark haired Irish people, but there's also a lot of light haired and even redhead Irish people. Well, I think so, Europe historically more mixed, right? I, I will say this, not to defend anybody, but like I did see studies in America, like polls, that the most attractive hair color in America is blonde. Right. Like a lot of guys voted that. So it's like, now maybe I don't know who comprised of that guy polling, but obviously if that's a popular look, then women are going to want to go through that. I mean, but, Andrew, let's not pretend American history didn't happen. You, you've heard blondes have more fun than brunettes since right. like the 1930s. Right. But that doesn't necessarily explain all the Asians in Asia that bleach their hair. But anyways, that's a different thing. So to answer the question, is it always trying to be white if you bleach your hair blonde? Is it a whitewash thing to do? I think the short answer is no, not in a vacuum. But I think if... 
your reasons for it and the other things you stack on top of it, I think you could maybe infer that this person is being whitewashed. You know what I mean? Like, I think like if you get your contacts and you bleach your hair and you only try to hang out with white people or be like, go to white, th do white things and you date white people. Right. And you try to maybe get that yellow undertone out of your, your yeah. skin. So you try to be yeah. like, maybe, you, maybe you could pass from afar as a white person. Yeah. Yeah. From the beha from the back for sure. You know, sometimes, or even with sunglasses on, you often can pass as white, you know, but Katy Perry dyes her hair black. Does that mean she's trying to be Asian? Right. What about when Gwen Stefani was trying to make everybody think she was Indian, but then still kept, kept her blonde hair? Right. So she looked like a light-skinned Indian girl with blonde hair, but the whole time, I think Gwen Stefani is Italian. Right. <laughs> and also nowadays with all the science, there's a lot of like people that match your skin tone to hair color and lipstick color. So there's oh. this whole thing of like, what are your hair colors and your lipstick that optimize you know, your skin and accentuate your beauty? The you know? warm tone, cold tone. It's really exactly. big in Korea. It's almost yeah. like Kelvin color temps, but for your it's skin. It's kind of like hacking your looks and by hacking your looks, sometimes it means changing your hair color. So in a vacuum, it's not always, but I'm sure for a portion of the population, they do hate themselves and do not <laughs> want to be Asian. All right, that's definitely true for some. Right, right. I did see Zayn Malik. I think he dyed his hair blonde before. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, he's, he, he's, he's an Arab person, like right, a male, right? right. right? Um, I also think it matters in the neighborhood. If you look at like Orange County, Andrew, whether we're talking about the hood side or the good side, which is sort of like a joke with, about North OC versus South OC, you're going to see a lot of dyed hair, but that dyed hair might be kind of different. Right. You know what I mean? Because like in the South OC, they might get more of a beach surfer babe style mm. for the girls and the upstairs more of like an ABG and North OC and things right, like right, that. Right. So, but I noticed that if you go to a traditional community and this goes back to my concept of like traditionality, right? Or just how close to the core of like what is like proper in that old world grandma culture. If you go to Chinatowns across America, specifically, let's just say deep Chinatown SF, you're growing up there or deep Chinatown NY, I see less girls with blonde hair in those communities mm. than the Asians in the suburbs yeah. that are more around like the new school third culture AZN culture I guess can you blame any Asian man or woman who feels like by bleaching their hair it makes them stand out be different and get a little bit more attention even if it's like you're treated 5% different or you're perceived to be 15-20% more American then maybe they're just gonna do it right right yeah, and, and like you said, it meant different things in different contexts. In Chinatowns, if you're thinking the old school way, Andrew, you got dyed hair, you might be in a gang. Yeah. But but nowadays, it's like almost like I'm just a fun Bro, suburban girl. I remember being on the phone at my friend's house when I was a kid, and, and my friend who was white was bleaching his hair, and he asked me, oh, dude, you should bleach your hair. And I was like, oh, okay, that'd be kind of cool. And I called mom and dad to see if it was okay and they yelled at me over the phone. They were like, what? Dad was like, no, hard no. He right. was like, right. you what? are what? not. What, you also want to get six piercings in your ear? Maybe yeah. you want to get a tattoo, dye your hair, and why don't you go move back to Mong Kok in Hong Kong and go be, get, be a gangster, ah! be a triad, okay? And dad, to this day, I still haven't bleached my hair once, but I did get a perm. That's right. good, my words, they sunk into your brain, they marinate. Um, somebody said, you know, they, they, somebody said, you know, maybe you just want to stand out. Don't read too much into it. There was a bunch of comments saying, nah, man, you can't always tie everything to there. And, I, and what I would say to this is, there's a lot of different pathways to the same outcome. I remember when Jeremy Lin had dreads and there was an Asian rapper called Shada Spence who also had dreads. This is a few years ago when yeah. Jeremy Lin was on the Brooklyn Nets. Andrew, a lot of people didn't understand that Jeremy got the idea from beach hip hop singers or beach R&B singers in Taiwan who also got influenced by Japan because in the Taiwanese culture, there's a lot of influence from Japan. Mm -hmm. So I went Japan to Taiwan to the beach singers to Jeremy Lin's dreads on the nets. And then a lot of people were like, yeah, 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 you, you're like Shada Spence. But Shada Spence is from a hood in New Jersey and right. it's like uh, more like in the street life. Right, right, right. And that's where his dreads came from. Right. So I'm saying it was looking the same, but unless you really understood the context, you had no idea that they took completely two different pathways to the same outcome. Right, right, right. Okay. So I'm saying that how come like a lot of people, they just want to attribute it to to the outcome that they're aware of, of the reps that they've seen. 
Yeah, well, that's just based off what people know, I guess. Yeah, and a lot of people were saying, you know, it all comes back to Japanese fashion. Like, as far as, like, Asian Asians, there could be reasons why you do it. Like, let's say, for example, you're adopted white girl and your sisters are blonde, you want to look like them. But if you're, like, an Asian Asian that's more tapped into the asian sphere, it's probably from Japan because Japan was the first one that had uh, consumerism and sort of, like, these hair dyes, like, decades before any other country. Oh, yeah, definitely. And I'll tell you this, for Asian guys, there is not for one second does an Asian guy bleach his hair blonde and think that he's going to be white. That does not go through any Asian guy's but, head. But is it different for some of the girls? I can't speak, but I just know of all the guys that I know who have bleached their hair blonde, I don't think for one second they thought that they were going to be white. I thought, I think everybody thinks that it's going to make them stand out and be different. And though. I think that so, for some Asian guys, they think it's going to make them an anime character because right. only an Asian guy would think that becoming an anime character off from the mangas in IRL would be I, freaking sick. I got an overarching question. Is distancing yourself from the typical Asian look in any way possible automatically mean you're trying to be whitewashed or blackwashed? Uh, not necessarily, but I could see why people would infer that, but then it's almost like, right. what level of society are we talking about? Because Andrew, are me and you, is me and you speaking English as our primary language? Right. Some people consider that already whitewashed. Why? Right, right, right. We're already whitewashed. A, the fact that we do all our videos in English, guys. We're whitewashed, ah! Hey, we still say some phrases here and there. Somebody said, it's not really the hair dyeing that bothers me, it's the blue contacts. When they do the blue contacts, that's when it's over the threshold. Uh, what do you think about the blue contacts thing? Is this even trendy anymore? I still see it a little bit, but I don't feel like it was as big uh, as it was seven years listen, ago. Listen, if you do contacts and hair color and you put on makeup, you're essentially cosplaying at that point. <laughs> but what if you're cosplaying a white... Japanese looking character, but not an actual white person. Like if no, you're cosplaying uh, Sailor Moon, who's based off a white person, but is still just speaking Japanese. See, that's a good question. See, there's a lot I of layers. That, I don't know. There's a lot of layers. It's all your intention, stuff. man. Are you trying to be white or are you just trying to be a character that happens to be white? Right. Are you just trying to elevate your status amongst Asians? Or are you just trying to fit in with a group that you feel like you might might be ostracized from unless you change your look to right. fit more in with them? Somebody said, uh, really, it just has to do with hair color dyes mixing with complexion. For example, uh, if I was Indian and I was a, of a darker skin tone, it may look uh, not as fitting with a blonde hair because like they're saying that the typically the hair like the hairs have to match the skin right. tone. I don't it, know. it depends on what type of skin you have. I mean, not all brown skin uh, or white skin or yellow skin is the same. Right. I, apparently, There's different glows and uh, hues and undertones. This Guys, is, if you talk to the experts, that's what they'll say. This is stuff that girls know about. And at me as a guy, my education in this particular field is about zero out of 10. Um, somebody said it's a gangster thing um, from the Asian world. And then somebody said that, you know, social deviance at, in the Asian world at one point was considered bad. But social deviance in America since James Dean in the 1950s, he was kind of socially deviant, right? He was a bad boy breaking the law, leather jacket, Rebel without a cause. Right, right, right. Not following the system. Bonnie and Clyde. So in America... Being socially deviant or having a certain l substantial level of it is cool. In Asia, it was bad until recently. Maybe it's starting to more fit with the social ways of the... Right, right, right. Um, there was just a lot of arguing back and forth. I had no idea. You know, so many people were writing essays back and forth. But, and we got to get to a bunch of people who said, no, 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 guys. Let's not mince words here. It's clearly white worship. I don't know. I don't know if it's that easy to say, man. Trust me. I I don't think it's... Somebody said, why don't you just dye your hair gray, the, uh, the color of X-Men or purple, something that no doesn't occur naturally with any other group of people. I could respect that, but not blonde, because that's who oppressed us. So so should we not wear three-piece suits? Right, that's because that came what? European, from the British? Or... Right? Three-piece suits is European. We shouldn't wear suits. We got to wear kimonos. We got to wear... Uh, the royal dynast dynastic Chinese garb. Tong size. Yeah, I mean, it's like, at the end of the day, there is a line that you draw, and I, like, I can't speak for everybody in their mind and their heart on why they do things. If they really think, yeah, I'm going to bleach my hair so that some people think I'm white, then, then yeah, you hate yourself. Right. <laughs> That's it. And I don't, 
also think that like we should all the and us as like I guess Asian guys or Chinese guys should we all look like Pai Mei from like you know when when you know those AI memes where it's like make this guy look the most Chinese possible right. and it's just like a floating towel yeah yeah I'm just like I, I don't know guys I, I, we gotta draw like you said everybody got a different threshold right 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 um somebody said as for why Indians Africans and Arabs don't dye their hair as often it's because they have less consumerism in their country um whereas oh. also some Arabs are also naturally blonde by the way that's it's not all really true david think about how many asian hair salons there are think there's a ton oh that's endless bro. how many Especially indian hair salons do you know i've seen indian um what's it called eyebrow threading okay but hair salons there is endless asian hair salons korean chinese vietnamese endless oh you do it even japanese ones and japanese yeah. have a very small japanese. population because people people like the japanese where, hair salons where are the south asian and the arab hair shops yeah. Not that many is what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm sure they have them, yeah. obviously. Uh, not too familiar. But somebody said Indians do dye their hair with henna. And I looked it up. So a few photos. Andrew, this is actually a traditional, you know, like henna style tattoos. This is a, a it's a completely different methodology. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that it's like it matters that obviously when people say you're bleaching your hair blonde, they're referring to that specific process where you got to go with like the bright white yellow bleach and then go to convert to another color on top of that yeah I think like when, the process that when, specific process when people think of dying it's usually a lighter color yeah for asians right you're going from black to dark brown and usually with that sometimes you have to go to a bright blonde first as the base layer right because you can't always just brown out black right 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 there, there's some level of bleaching that has to occur first if you guys know about bleaching asian hair i guess you know what's interesting to me i would say that to me like, in my opinion, and you guys can agree or disagree with me, I almost feel like Arab and uh, South Asians, they're almost already part of the Western world, mm. but they've already figured out, like, how much they want to buy in or how much they don't want to buy in. Whereas, like, Asians are almost coming in as, like, completely outside of the Western world. So it's almost like wow. on the consumeristic level, which is here, we buy in 10 out of 10, but then it's almost like on the actual are we Western, we might be bought in, like, Two out of ten. Mm. Whereas I feel like Arab and uh, South Asian people there, it's almost like they're already at a baseline way more Western, like a six or something like that. So that allows them to dial back their consumerism of Western culture. Does that make sense? Like there's just two different levels. Like culture is not just one level. Right, There's right, like deep right. culture, you know, religious. Are you also Abrahamic, but like a different Abraham? You know what I mean? There's like, right. I'm saying that Asians are almost like aliens just, that are just a, like, like Western consumerism. Yeah. If we were to be very Western-centric about it is what I'm saying. I think it's really modeled after the Japanese, how the Japanese stayed very Japanese but also consumed a lot of American culture. They, they picked and choose yeah. like their, their aspects. Like They're like hyper-Westernized when it comes to some things and hyper-not when it comes to some certain things. But everybody, you know what it is? Every culture that is not the dominant culture, Andrew, which is like Western European culture, mm -hmm. they, they, they picked a different uh, mix and match. A different combo. A yeah, different, different combo combos. box. Yeah. So I guess at the end of the day, Andrew, things are never cut and dry, right? There, there's a lot of different reasons why, like, there's a, a certain outcome. and there, but, but I feel like a lot of people just try to justify it with the life they've lived and the reps that they've seen. But there could be reasons that are, like, so it's almost like, let's say there's 100 people who dye their hair. Your reasoning could be right for some of them, but there might be, like, 50% of the people where you completely don't understand what's going on. Yeah, I think for something as superficial as dyeing your hair... Or as trivial as that, it's like, you could be right and you could be wrong easily. Right. So. so ultimately, Andrew, what are your conclusions? Is dyeing your hair right, wrong? Does it just matter your intentions? Or is like, is it at this point visual things? It's like, bro, that's like, worry about like respect or like taking off your shoes or like, I mean, you I know, know, like dude, some other things like deeper non-visual yeah, things. I know people who were whitewashed that never dyed their hair. So what does that mean? It's not about dyeing your hair. It's not, that's not the sole thing. It's not just one thing. Right. Because it's not one. It's a package thing. So if you dye your hair, you call yourself Justin Bieber and start singing with a guitar. Yeah, maybe you looking like reverse Ollie London, though. Yeah. All right, everybody, let us know in the comments down below what you think about all this. Why does it seem like Asians dye their hair more? Is it consumerism? Is it white worship? Is it? Just trying to be Japanese, I don't know. You guys let us know. Or is it just trying to uh, uh, optimize for your skin color? Let me know in the comments down below, everybody. Uh, we are the Hot Pop Boys. Hopefully this discussion was interesting. And until next time, we out. Peace.